Ladies and gentlemen, do you want the secrets to the universe on Gala Games? Do you want the Infinity Gauntlet? Is that what you're looking for? Well, today I'm going to be giving you some spicy old news in the Gala Games space. We're going to be talking about spider tanks. We're going to be talking about last expedition. We're going to be talking about a heck of a lot of things, so you're going to want to be there. With this being said, if you enjoy the content, as always, like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into it now the first thing i want to talk about is telegram telegram is a big deal for gala games they ran away from telegram quite a few years ago it seems like have they even had a telegram before i don't know if they had a telegram because when i got into gala games there was no telegram and so they're happy to announce that a gala games telegram group will be reopening clearly they had one at some point uh it's t.me slash go gala games for updates on the gala games ecosystem dollar sign gala awesome games and much more so there you go there is going to be a telegram for gala games putting the word out there a lot of the people that are more into the gala token are going to be very interested in this because telegram likes to focus on that part of the ecosystem so next thing i want to talk about is the walking dead empires they recently went ahead and actually released uh, some information on the map design. There are going to be tunnels and some uh, new generative places to go through, so that is always good to see. On ahead of the game, they actually went ahead and showcased this and added a bit of a gala gold on there. So nice to see there in the Walking Dead Empires. Another thing I wanted to showcase, something I kind of want to do that's new. Let me know in the comment section if you think this is a good idea. But I want to go ahead and give other content creators an opportunity uh, to gain proper exposure in the Gala Games space. And so I want to go ahead, feature Yakan here and his epic clip on spider tanks. All right, stay away, flame. Stay away, flame. Stay away, flame. All right. All right, we got him, we got him. Let's get it. All right, we got to kill the flame. Kill the flame. I'm going to shoot a nade in there. And boom! Got him. All right, let's get this last kill. Triple baby. That's how you do it. Uh, just to let you all know, after this clip, Yakan proceeded to lose the game in epic fashion. So good for him for picking up the triple kill, but unfortunately for him, his MMR is not going to be going any higher today. So, next thing in the news, we've got... Ooh, this was, uh, this was pretty good. Ooh, wait, what's going on here? A new Last Expedition build? Oh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and check this one out. This one's pretty epic. I'm just going to talk over it since uh, YouTube.com does not like oh, it God, when people... Oh, God, the music's about to start. I was about to get... I was seconds away from getting demonetized. It was the closest thing that's ever happened. But yeah, this is the new Last Expedition build. Uh, we don't have access to it currently as node holders. Uh, you know, node holder was kind enough to give me a code. We're right now still on the old build, but this is Benefactor, the legend himself in the Gala game space, uh, showcasing the brand new build. He's running right now, trying to get to his teammates because his teammates are in a dire situation. Just has epic music playing in the background that YouTube doesn't like, so we can't play. But uh, yeah, he just goes ahead, throws this little bomb, which I haven't seen before. It looks super sick. Check this out right now. He throws this. It has a little projector on it, as you can see, by the way, which is really interesting. So you can actually see where you're throwing. He throws it. Throws. No, he doesn't throw no one. And then all of them, all of the different Last Expedition monsters or creatures, what, what are they called? I don't even know what these things are called. The monsters? They go ahead and they are attracted by this little sonar boom grenade. He is able to put a shield and check this out. This is sick. They all start exploding on the shield. And he just starts dancing. Bro, tell me this game isn't going to be epic. Come on. Uh, they have emotes and everything that they're showcasing. That is sick. That's, that's a, okay, come on. This game's going to be sick. But that was a new Last Expedition build clip. They actually have, you know, trees now. They have trees. They've got grass. They've got all kinds of stuff. It just looks like they've got scenery now. Last build, they didn't have any of that. So it's good to see the progress there and good to see more coming from there. So now in the other news, we've got Spider Tanks. Uh, classic games with a hot take. I'm talking about myself. So Gal Spider Tanks, it's skill to earn. A lot of people come after me all the time. They're like, Spider Tanks is a play-to-earn game. The only reason you'd play it is for the currency. Let me tell you, this is a rude awakening for 99% of players here. You're probably not going to make anything off that game. Only because of the fact 
that this game is skilled to earn. You're only going to be making anything on the top echelons of the game. If you have 1,200 honor, which is really hard to get, and you have a deity rank, which is the highest rank in the game, you're earning the most. People that are in a very low rank, like Aspire, are earning 25% of what someone in deity would be making. So if you've got a $5,000 tank, you'd actually be making maybe, what, like $1,000 worth of that tank? So it's very important that you get to the higher ranks or you just rent your tanks out to someone in the higher ranks to be able to earn anything. This is something I think that a lot of people in Gala are very confused about in regards to spider tanks. You can't just go into spider tanks and expect to earn anything. A majority of new players, if not all major all new players, are just not going to be earning much. So it's good to gain that expectation and understand that if you're going to be playing spider tanks and you're actually playing it for the er earning component, that you need to be good at the game. And that's something that should be stressed over and over. Now, in other news, we've got Bitbender, the president of blockchain at Gala Games, talking about what we talked about last video. So you got the early alpha on my last video. You should go ahead, check it out if you want that in-depth explanation on Grit. He pretty much said the same thing in regards to free-to-play gaming and the many different facets of Gala Games and why it seems like Gala is going to be moving into a multi-token approach instead of just having one token. It's good. I think that Gala as a token in general should just be seen as gas, right? It should be seen as what people use in the ecosystem. That is the entire purpose of this thing. It's just what it's gone up to and just what I think it's going to be. You know, Silk is the rewards token for Gala Games. I think a quick explanation is needed for this chart, by the way. Uh, pretty much what happened was there was no bridge for Silk. So people couldn't actually really sell out Silk to Ethereum. And we just had an artificial bubble in the entire Silk, Silk ecosystem for a while. And then it all crashed, and uh, yeah, it seems like it's bouncing from here. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, just a quick explanation needed because some people were asking me too in regards to that. Uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, the way that these games are going to succeed long term is if people end up playing, as a majority at least, for fun. Which I think at this point... I could see that. You know, I don't think that a majority of players on spider tanks are playing the game to earn money. If you're lower than what? hero if you're a contender or an aspirer you're probably not earning much so there's probably like almost no reason to be playing the game other than to have fun so it's good to see that in regards to the base something else a lot of people have been asking me in regards to a guide on buying uh, spider tanks parts in general i've played a lot of spider tanks i own quite a few spider tanks assets by the way before i go ahead and do this in the description of every single one of our videos We've got our affiliate link. If you're going to go ahead, buy something from the Gala Games store. It doesn't matter if it's a crumpet. It doesn't matter if it's a cheetah. It doesn't matter if it's a building or anything. Use the link. Links.gala.com. It's just classy crypto. Brings you to this beautiful page that is the Gala Games store. And so if you are fearful, there you go. There's the proof that it's perfectly fine to go ahead and click on. But anyway, let's get back into it and talk about my strategy. Okay, this is... Disclaimer alert, this is classy strategy. I've been playing the game for like two months, so take it with a grain of salt. Now, there's a couple things you should be looking at. There is a leveling ecosystem on spider tanks. It goes 0 to 30. Very important to denote. All Generation 2 tanks start at level 0. Generation 1 tanks work a little bit differently. A Generation 1 Ancient, for example, will start at level 28. Perfect all around. A triple threat, Generation 2, will start at level 0. So you pay a lot less to go ahead and grab it, but you do go ahead and pay a heck of a lot to go ahead and upgrade it. So something you should probably notice immediately is the fact that priced everything through Silk Gyri, there's different pricing for everything, right? Ancients are very expensive, etc., etc. But something even more important that you should go ahead and gauge on, and this is, I'm probably shooting myself on the foot here by saying this, but a triple threat Ancient Generation 2, there's a Really good reason why these haven't sold out yet. Uh, these cost 4,000 silk, which you know, translate that to USD, 40 cents per silk. It's quite a bit of money. You go ahead and go down just a little bit to the last sale. And you see this ancient weapon was also somewhere around 4,000 silk. But if you go down just a little bit more on the last, last sale, you're going to notice that this repair gun was 2,381 silk. And if you go down just a little bit more, you're going to notice that this railgun was 3,175. And you want to keep going down, well, you're not going to find anything else. But there is different pricing per tank. And that has, this is a big factor for it all. 
it's depending on how much it's off in regards to the store. There's a base pricing, which they're all the same, you know, 7,939. And then over here, 7,939. But if you look a little bit down, it's 50% off. This one's 50% off. And, you know, the last sale is 50% off. If you go down another sale, you're going to notice this one's 70% off. And then this plate's also 70% off. This bouncer is 60% off. And sometimes, even if you don't like the gun, for example, the plate is a really solid body. It's a medium heavy body. Medium bodies are the best on spider tanks right now. So, you're a newbie, you just started playing spider tanks, you don't understand too much about the ecosystem. Here's what I've got to tell you. There is a tier list online. Classy went ahead and published it. Find the tank you want to play. And honestly, you're going to be playing on Ethereum. Sometimes, like, you're going to have to buy through Ethereum, then bridge it to Gyre. So do calculate that into expensive expenses. But for the most part, like, twin guns are really solid weapons. Hurricanes are okay. Medium bodies. Fleas are terrible. Don't get fleas. Uh, if I just go down a little bit, you're going to see Blink is like, eh, I don't really like it too much. Crab is really solid. I use Crab on my Ancient Balancer. Maul is also very solid. Mantis is good for those, like, medium light bodies. For example, like, if you're playing Rocket Artillery or you're playing a Brambler, then Mantis makes a lot of sense. But in general, that's your little guide. Hope it helps you. This is Classy Games. If you like the content, you know what to do. Stay classy. And that's all.